da, da, da. da, da, da. IMI has taught you today that th this is not a control joint to the brick. This is a expansion joint and this is a control joint. But look, what do you notice about this? These are offset in the field of the wall. There's no reason why these have to line up and plan. In fact, they really shouldn't uh, line up and plan. The spacing requirements are different. Okay, so the NCMA tells us for unreinforced block uh, concrete masonry, the spacing is 15 to 20 feet on center for vertical control joints in a block wall or one and a half times the wall height, whichever is closer together. If you have a lot of vertical reinforcement, you can space them farther apart. For brick, the BIA tells us that rule of thumb, 25 to 30 feet in the field of the wall. Now, there are other requirements, proximity to a corner, proximity to, um, well, change of wall height, change of wall thickness. There are, there are a lot of empirical rules of where you should put these movement joints. Uh, all right, so what's a movement joint? You've heard me talk about expansion joints in brick, control joints in block. A movement joint is just a generic term that means control joint and expansion joint, control joint or expansion joint, if you go to a meeting and you don't remember, oh, is that is that a control joint or an expansion joint? You just don't remember? You can call it a movement joint and you won't be wrong, all right? Because that's such a general term. And that's the term that the code uses.